In this video, we will see about AC to AC converter. There are two types of electric power, AC and DC. And the AC is represented by its magnitude and frequency, while DC is represented by its magnitude because its frequency is zero. Now, let us consider an example. So here the ceiling fan is connected to the AC supply through a switch and you can see here there is a regulator which controls the speed of this motor. So this ceiling fan is an induction motor which is an AC motor and this is an AC supply. So this fan regulator actually performs the function of a AC AC converter. So here AC supply is the input and output is also AC but you are able to control the magnitude of the output voltage. So basically this speed regulator is a AC AC converter. Consider another example. Take this power station. You are generating power at 11 kV which is stepped down to 400 kV for transmission and then it is distributed to the consumer. So here what happens? 11 kV is depth down to 400 kV. So this is actually a AC AC conversion and you can find that only magnitude is changed and there is no change in frequency. AC has two parameters magnitude and frequency. Here we are changing only the magnitude. Before going into the topic, we should know certain things about the AC waveform that is AC magnitude and frequency. So there are two waveforms here which has a peak magnitude of 325 volts and here 156 volts. So this is called the magnitude of the sine waveform and this blue waveform has a frequency of 50 hertz while this waveform has a frequency of 60 hertz. So to study about AC AC converter we should know how to draw this 50 hertz waveform because we use normally a 50 hertz AC supply in, in India. So for 50 hertz T is 1 by F so 1 by 50 that is equal to 20 millisecond. So you see here they have given a millisecond. So in, within 20 millisecond one cycle will get completed. So half of that is 10 millisecond. So in 10 millisecond you will get one waveform and remaining 10 millisecond you will get the other waveform. Similarly you can do the calculation for 60 hertz and it is drawn here. Now coming to AC AC converter, there are two types of AC AC converter. First thing is called AC voltage regulator. As the name suggests voltage regulator, we are able to control only the voltage. So it converts a fixed AC voltage to variable AC voltage. We cannot change the frequency. So in AC voltage regulator, you cannot change the frequency, but you can change the magnitude of the AC voltage. Next is cycloconverter, where here you can change the frequency of the AC supply and there is no need for DC link. So what do you mean by that? Actually, normally to connect to different frequency systems. Suppose if I want to connect a 50 hertz system to a 60 hertz system, normally what is done is AC. First 50 hertz AC is converted to DC or a rectifier is used and that DC link will be connected to an inverter which again gives a 60 hertz AC. This is how it is done. So cycloconverter directly converts one frequency to another frequency without any DC link. So how to control the AC voltage? We have already seen that AC voltage have 
both positive half and negative half cycle so the devices which we use should be able to conduct in both half cycles that is it should conduct in positive half as well as in negative half so it should be a bidirectional switch so we can use a thyristors to conduct in both direction by connecting two devices in anti parallel so this ser1 will conduct during positive half cycle ser2 will conduct during negative half cycle or a triac can also be used but normally triac will be preferred for low power ranges and ser is used for high power applications how to realize this ac ac conversion so there are three different configurations first one you can connect two thyristor in anti parallel or a triac can be used or a thyristor and four diodes can also be used to conduct the currents in both direction let us see the configuration one where two thyristors are connected in anti parallel this me this method is called bidirectional full wave symmetrical control because you have two thyristors and each will have the same firing angle so you will get a bidirectional full wave control output the problem with this method is that the gate pulse sources for the gate pulse should be isolated for both the thyristors because when you give the gate pulse normally gate pulse for thyristor is given between gate and cathode that is the gate is made positive with respect to cathode so if you see here gate and cathode so this is cathode this is gate this is gate and this is cathode of second thyristor so now if both uh, if the both the sources triggering sources are not isolated means there is a possibility of shorting this cathode with this cathode because cathode acts as a negative for both the sources so what happens there is a possibility of short circuit and you will not get any control over the output so that is the limitation of this method but this can be overcome by other devices in configuration 2 we are using a triac so here there is no issue with the gate but you may not get a symmetrical output at all conditions because um, when the device conducts in one direction and the, when the device conducts in the opposite direction there may be, be a slight change in the output waveform so normally this is used for low power applications this is configuration 3 where you have one thyristor and four diodes so this is done to simplify the gate circuit and here during positive half cycle the diode d1 thyristor d2 will conduct and carry the current during negative half cycle the current flows in the opposite direction remember here always current flows from anode to cathode in any device so here thyristor anode to cathode it flows but it takes the path of diode d3 and d4 but this this helps to reduce the cost of the de uh, devices because thyristor is costly compared to the diodes so device cost will reduce but the conduction loss because you have five devices each device will have conduction loss so the conduction loss will increase so normally configuration 1 is preferred in most of the cases so the applications of ac voltage regulator best example is the fan regulator so 
this is a ac supply which is connected to the fan through this regulator so this regulator usually consist of a triac and a control circuit so when you want to achieve speed control you can control the firing of this triac so that the speed or the voltage applied to the fan gets reduced and the speed reduces to remember here are AC to AC converter are of two types AC voltage regulator which will change only the magnitude and it cannot change the frequency cyclo converter is also called a frequency changer which can convert the frequency one frequency to another frequency when two thyristors are connected in anti parallel the triggering source of each thyristor should be isolated triac is used for low power applications if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you